Hawk Roosting by Ted Hughes. I sit in the top of the wood, my eyes closed. Inaction, no falsifying dream, between my hooked head and hooked feet, or in, re or in sleep rehearse perfect kills and eat. The convenience of the high trees, the air's buoyancy and the sun's ray are of advantage to me and the earth's face upward for my inspection. My feet are locked upon the rough bark. It took the whole of creation to produce my foot, my each feather. Now I hold creation in my foot. Or fly up and revolve it slowly. I kill where I please because it is all mine. There is no sophistry in my body. My manners are tearing off heads. The allotment of death, for the one path of my flight is direct, through the bones of the living. No arguments assert my right. The sun is behind me. Nothing has changed since I began. My eye has permitted no change. I am going to keep things like this. Reread the poem by yourselves. So the hawk sits at the top of the wood. It's in a position of control. It can see everything from there and it, and it keeps an eye on all creatures. Its eyes are closed because it has no predators. It is at the top of the food chain. It talks about its hooked head and hooked feet, showing how it is designed to, be kill, to, to kill things and in its sleep rehearses perfect kills. There's an arrogance to this orchid. It enjoys the way that it kills. It uses nature to help it in its killing. So it uses the height of the trees, the buoyancy of the air and the sun behind it so that the, its prey is blinded. And because of that, it sees that the earth looks up to it, that he is in control of this wood, this forest, these creatures. In Sansa 3, the hawk talks about how it took a long time to create it, how it is a perfect, um, how it is a perfect being designed to kill. Each foot, each feather is perfectly created. And now it holds creation in its foot. At this point, the hawk is suggesting that it is now God. God having created it to be perfect, it now holds each creature in its foot like a God. Again, the arrogance of the bird is shown. The fourth stanza looks at how it kills. I kill where I please. It, it has no boundaries. It has no control over it because there's nothing above it. So it does as it pleases and kills as it wishes. Sophistry means sophistication. There is no sophistry in its body. It enjoys ripping off heads. The violence and brutality shows that the hawk doesn't care how it kills. In Sansa 5, it talks about the allotment of death. Allotment can mean the allocation. It can also be an allotment, can be somewhere where um, you grow vegetables, but in this case, it's talking about the allocation of death. It decides what lives and what dies. And the image, the bones of the living, is a really vivid image because it shows the way it flies through creatures that are alive and it can decide which one lives, which one dies, which one it turns to bones. There is a power in the way that the hawk can control the creatures that live or die. In the final stanza, it talks again about how nature he uses nature to help him hunt, but also how nothing has changed and the hawk allows no change. It is going to keep its power, its control over this wood, over these creatures for all time. It is arrogant, in control, 